Hey, what is going on everybody and welcome to Fantasia for today. We're going to be jumping into another session of Epic 7 now today. Gosmar TA for you guys. So jumping into this session here, we're going to just go ahead and ban the Flan and BBK so I don't have to deal with them. Um, I know last video I was kind of banning Gala because everyone was picking Gala into me. Um, I think that was mostly because I was picking Lyon and LRK and my opponents did not like that. So we're going to let her off the list here and hope that this guy doesn't have Gala and we're just going to keep picking the same stuff as we were <laughs> because we'd never learn our lessons. Let's go with LRK. Um, I, I just really find these units way too fun not to use right now. So we'll just do that. Mort is picked up, and Dragon Bride Senya as well. Okay, well, uh, we can definitely go Lya here. There's nothing I really want to cleanse per se, so technically, I guess DDR would be a decent little unit to bring along in the ban protection slot. He has some cleansing with Potion Vial, but he also has strips and debuffs and, well, Venom for injury into these two HP scalers here. He's gonna pick Selene. And that is not fine. Ooh, he goes for Zeo too. That is also not fine. I do not like that at all. We could technically go Harseti here. Um, if I go Harseti, it does give me a pretty decent chance against these units, but do I really want to go down that route? If I go for Harseti, ooh, can I go for Spez here? Spez seems really fun here, not gonna lie. We can go Spez Harseti, I think. We can definitely go Spez Harseti. Let's go Spez and then Harseti. Let's do that. I rarely ever pick Harseti now, but I think she works here. Let's do it. Mine's a speedier Harseti, so it shouldn't hinder my own units all too much with their tuning. But if he has slower units here, uh, it will definitely um, benefit me more, right? Because I'm not capping the speed at zero. So let's see what this um, last pick is going to be here. Spez, I'm hoping it gets through, so I get to use him. Oh, and another Midnight Galilius, guys. That's disgusting. All right, get rid of that. He gets rid of Harseti, perfect. Zeo gets to go, and I am okay with that. Maya and DDR both giving HP to everyone on the team. We're gonna be a pretty bulky team now. And I'm hoping that we can somehow get this uh, Selene out of stealth, either with Spez's S2 or LRK's S3. If we can get Selene out of stealth, we can easily kill her, unless she's in the back line, but... She is not going to be in the back. Zeo's in the back line. Whoa. That is not expected. Okay. So I'm actually okay with this situation. Um, depends on who he pushes back. He's probably going to push back the DDR, honestly. No, he... Oh, that's a lot of damage onto LRK. Holy... I could push up... Here, I think Celine, 30%, 20%. I think we, if we do this, I think DDR gets to go and we get to sleep everybody. I hope he doesn't hit the, um, good. He didn't hit LRK. That's perfect. That's actually really nice. So DDR gets to go and we can now put the Celine to sleep. That's what I was checking the combat readiness games for. So Celine doesn't get to cut because DDR gets pushed beyond her capabilities of cutting. And now we get to push up. Oh man, guys. Oh man, guys. Spez. Spez. Spez, we don't get to nuke the Selene right here, but we get to nuke this uh, Dragon Bride Senya. Please kill. Please kill. <laughs> yes! That is so satisfying. Good job, Spez. Good job. All right, Mort is going to come in with an S3. 26k health, not enough to be more than my LRK or Laya, thankfully. So LRK gets to come in with an S3. This will hopefully be a good chunk of damage here. Um, and if Laya gets to get out of her fear, <clears throat> that would also be really good. All right, we do have immunity though, so I am glad for that. He gets a barrier, nullifies a lot of the damage there. Wonders Potion Vial, beautiful. I can now put the Selene to sleep. I don't want her to S3 at all. There you go. Zeo can do whatever he wants. I am fine with that. 
because Spez is gonna come in hot with a uh, with a S2 that's gonna deal a ton of damage. Oh, he barely, barely misses the kill on LRK, thankfully. So he goes for the kill. That's okay, Selene loses his turn. That's fine. And at this point, I could just S3 and kill the Selene, but I'm gonna go and S3 into the Mort instead. If this doesn't kill, it's fine, because Spez's S2 will definitely kill then. Boom. Oh, it does kill. Beautiful. We take an extra turn. And now, please dual attack with Spez. Nice job. Look at that. Good job, Spez. Good job, Spez. We're gonna S2. Oh, no stun, but... That is way more enough to secure the win. Wow, that was beautiful. <laughs> Being able to one-shot Dragon Ride Senyas feels so good. So there you go, guys. Spez's EE now gives him 100% defense penetration when you're attacking someone who's stunned or asleep, which makes him a perfect partner for DDR. And boy, oh boy, is, is that a fun combo. Um, DDR actually helps out Spez quite a bit because his S2 pushes Spez up, and most people's Spezes are kind of bulkier and a little bit slower, right? Mine's 170 speed, he's like 14,000 HP, 1,100 defense, so he's rather tanky uh, because of his evasion. And he still does a ton of damage. You hardly need to build damage stats on him if you get the uh, defense penetration, because his damage scaling numbers are absolutely insane. All right, we'll go for these two again. I know my last opponent picked Gala, but we're going to hope that they don't do that again. Uh, this is the world we live in, where we don't have three pre-bans. Alright, let's see what they go for. New Moon Luna and Harseti. Okay, first pick Ilanov. Kinda makes me not want to pick uh, Laya or LRK, honestly. It's a good deterrent. So I could technically go for DDR as a first pick. Uh, we could just kind of default to DDR a Tywin because we could still go Spez with these two units, right? Stun and Sleep work, so DDRA Tywin's actually a perfect combo for Spez. Unless, of course, my opponent decides to go for Cleave. Gonna go for the ML Politis. He could go for Fire... Oh, no, I uh, banned Fire Flying. He could go for Gala. Nope, goes for Selene. Am I okay with that? Hmm... Am I okay with that? I don't know. Would Fire Politis be a good counter into something like this? I think Abyssal Euphine preventing the push-up along with um, Fire Politis wouldn't actually be terrible. It wouldn't be terrible at all. We can go for a uh, Abyssal Euphine, Ban Protect, and then a Fire Politis here. Right, we can go for a D-Gen Fire Politis. Oh man, which one's my D-Gen Fire Politis? I'm gonna guess this one. <laughs> I have two Politises here. One's a damage and one's not. So I'm gonna hope that this is the right one. Mort is picked up, so I can't counterattack. That's kind of bad. I might need to ban the Mort here. LRK is a really good option for his team. So, um... Yeah, that's not good. That's not good at all. We're gonna need someone who can definitely deal good damage to this uh, LRK, because I'm gonna ban the Mort to kill LRK. Oh no, how do we kill LRK? You know what? This is still a Spez game. Let's still go for Spez. Uh, we're gonna have to ban Mort and just pray that... He's probably banning Spez here. And pray that Abyssal Weeping can do this. That's kind of an iffy one. Kind of an iffy one. Now, my Politis here is... She carries no damage, but she has a ton of effect resistance, and she has a bunch of effectiveness. Oh, he bans DDR instead. He has immunity in the form of LRK. Oh, he's probably going to get immunity up before I can get my A Tywin to attack, isn't he? That's going to kind of suck a little bit. And by kind of suck a little bit, I mean it kind of sucks a lot. Spez doesn't have any good team imprints. Okay, I think we're just going to roll in with this. I'm gonna hope that Spez can still kill. I'm hoping that he can still kill. Oh yeah, that turn order isn't looking great for me. He is just gonna dual attack. Oh nice, good. Moonlight Dreamblade is fantastic. I can still go for an S2 and hit this uh, Selene very, very hard. That's what I'm hoping for. Okay, good, not a whole ton of damage. 
Where is the Selene? Oh, she's going after my Spez. That is good. We can go for a S3 here. Or do we? We could go for an S3 here. Let's go for an S3. Um, it's going to give them a barrier, and then Ilanov's going to push herself up and get the Indomitable. Oh, but she can't push herself up. That's good. I was kind of dreading the Indomitable buff coming out. But I needed to break this lane out of stealth, so we can at least go for a powerful S2. Unfortunately, we couldn't soul burn it, but that is a good chunk of damage. And if Selene S3s, um, the good thing is that she won't go to stealth. She has evasion, but she won't go into stealth. And our evasion's kicking in too, so two can play at that game. Abyssal Yufin will S1 here. Okay, it's gonna it's gonna help this LRK um, a ton, but we're just gonna have to deal with it. LRK is gonna have uh Yeah, he has his S3 already, so not great for us. Oh, good counter, good counter. I wanna get as much damage onto his team as possible before his LRK turn cycles around. And Spez was gonna go before the LRK, so I was gonna S3 into the LRK and hopefully kill him. That worked out super well. Holy guys, Politis. <laughs> I know the Politis and Abyssal Yufin combo, right, has always been here ever since Abyssal Yufin was released, but that was a really good application of it. That tanky Politis, he could not kill. I kind of... now I'm kind of wondering, should I put her on Ayla Violin instead of putting her on Abyssal Crown? She's currently on Abyssal Crown to potentially stun people, right? Catch them off guard with a lucky stun, could potentially save you in a game, but judging from the immunity buffers out there right now, it might be wise to go for Ayla Violin just to strip immunity. Hmm, that actually gives me some ideas. Maybe we'll do that. We'll see, we'll see. Okay, anyway, let's refocus here. ML Politis banned, New Moon Luna banned. That's fine. It looks like they want to pick the Flan, but I, I pre banned Flan, so there's no, no need to worry about that. Um... I guess I'll just go DDR here because going for Alaya right now with the possibility of my opponent going Empyrean Ilanov is not great. Oh! Tywin, the, the bad thing about Tywin though is that when he only procs when the units hit and put to sleep and stunned, if there's a non-attack skill like DDRs and puts people to sleep, Tywin actually doesn't cleanse. So he's not that great of a counter into DDR. He's a decent counter into stuff like, let's say, Dragon King Shirun S1s. Oh, well, speak of Dragon King Shirun, speak of the devil. Um, if she S1s someone that's in the back line and stuns them, then Tywin procs and cleanses. So, okay, uh, Dragon King Shirun and Tywin, they both carry AoE debuffs, so I kind of want to bring a Tywin to cleanse those said debuffs from my team. Honestly, a knockwall ban protection would be super strong to this, but again, my knockwall's not fully built yet, so we cannot do that. I can't bring Silverblade Armintha into this. Can't really spez a team that has um, Dragon King Sharoon. Sylvan Sage Vivian could be decent, but it's too early to pick her. All right, what do we what do we end up doing? Hmm. Oh, you know what? No, no, no. The Great Mortelix is huge here. Let's go with the Great Mortelix. Yeah. All right. Great Mortelix getting picked up is nice. We can also go for Elena. I think Elena's pretty good into these two AoE debuffers, right? Elena will also keep our team alive, give us invincibility. And with Mort being our sole DPS, you know, we don't have to worry about units that could potentially counter us. We've already locked him in, so there's nothing on the other team that can counter us. Even if they pick Ravi, the Ravi can definitely not be on counter. Or she, even if she's on counter sets, you can definitely not counter, so we'll be okay. Uh, if he picks Ravi, though, we just have to pick double ice units to kind of attack into this. And I think a decent pair would be something like Shu. And surprisingly, honestly, I think a Brig would work quite well, too. Empyrean Ilanov getting picked up is okay, because she's weak into DDR and a Tywin. Again, if he goes for the Fire Ravi, I think I know exactly who I'm going for. Oh yeah, for sure. Let's go for the Shoe, and let's go for the Brig. Brig here is funny. Now, he is on counter set, so he's not going to be able to do his counter shenanigans, but uh, he has a good barrier, he has good damage, and he has good debuffs, so we're going to ban the Alencia, and we'll just fight the first four here. Shu also can't counterattack, but being ice into Ravi, I mean, if it's a if it's just a beatdown, right? I know there's no counterattacks from us because of more, but in straight up just in a 1v1 beatdown scenario, I think we got this. Alright, Tywin, Brig, Shu, 
Mort seems decent. The only issue I have right now is that they have double debuffers, and Tywin can only cleanse once per turn. It's alright though. I think we'll be okay. Let's do it. Probably could have also picked something like Karina too. Karina would have been a solid option that probably didn't rely on uh, counterattacks to function, but this is okay. We'll, we'll see what we can get done. Oh, no, uh, no, um, ignore res there, because Ilanov actually has more HP than my Mort. A little bit unfortunate. Shirun's gonna go S3, that's fine. We will cleanse with Tywin, or a Tywin, but then Tywin's gonna hit us. Yeah. Can we defense break? Nice, beautiful. Tywin's gonna go, he can S3 and defense break my team. Oh, he actually hit the, uh, whoa, he actually hit my Mort, that's not good. Brig, A Tywin, and Shu all defense broken, but Ravi's gonna go for the A Tywin. He dual attacks. Okay, and let's just go for an S3 here. I know the Ilanov can get pushed up, but it's okay. We just gotta hit this uh, Dragon King Shu for as much damage as possible right now. Wait a minute, how did we. Oh! What? Oh, hang on. At the start of the turn, dispels debuffs which prevent movement. She works into Mort too. Oh no! I did not realize she worked into Mort. I thought it was, I thought it was just stuns and sleeps. Oh, that's that's terrible. Okay. Um, knowing that, now I really have to try to kill this. Uh, we'll just go for an S3. I mean, let's do it. She has a defense break. Might as well, right? Might as well. Come on, Breed, you got this. We gave uh, the whole team a barrier, so we're gonna be nice and healthy. We turn cycled out of our defense break here, too. He is gonna S3 now, so he will cleanse, and Indomitable is gonna be kinda bad into us, but it's okay. He does hit into the shoe, but that's quite alright. I could potentially stun. He's, he has Cascade anyway, I might as well just go for this. I might as well just go for this, because, um... There we go. Tywin's gonna cleanse. Okay, that's fine. We at least get the defense breaks on everyone else, which is kind of what I was going for. He can definitely S3, but Tywin will cleanse before he dies, if he does die here. Oh, no, he doesn't die. Perfect, perfect. So Shu gets cleansed. That's fine. Oh, he did die. Oh my god, the Cascade. Okay, we'll see who he tries to stun here with Dragon King Shirun. Tries to stun the Shu, gets it, because he's soul burned. Okay, so again, during this time, we're just trying to utilize our defense breaks on our opponent here as much as possible. He's gonna provoke. Oh, didn't provoke. Beautiful. I love that. Uh, we'll just hit the Dragon King Shirun. Good. Ravi gets to go again. Again, Shu can't counter, so it's free hits onto Shu, but Mort can. This is such a troll game. Okay, there we go. He's probably going to Soulburn into the Shu. That would probably kill. Yeah, definitely would have been better for me to pick uh, pick something like Karina instead, but here we are. <laughs> me and my poor decision-making skills. Uh, no, oh nice, beautiful, that actually kills the Dragon King Shirun. And now we do have uh, the ability to S3 in the future. We are getting injury down a little bit due to the Robbie's S3, but if I soul burn this, I do have a chance to defense break. But I'm just gonna go for the Tywin. Oh, nope, nope, did not, did not land it, it's fine. Brig, after this turn, will be able to deal quite a bit of damage. Okay, he is, oh, he's gonna go for Brig, interesting. Can we defense break? No defense break, oh shoot, we do get a barrier. That's nice for nullifying the injury coming out from this uh, Ilanov here. And then Brig should probably just S1. I think an S1 here would be very, very powerful. So we'll just go straight for the Ravi, how about that? Because we should be able to go into the Ravi here. It crits, so we, she is going to cleanse one of the debuffs. Uh, cleanses defense break, not the spe uh, speed down, unfortunately. However, we do get a shot at uh, hitting the Tywin again with Mort. Next turn, Mort has an S3, so we'll be able to deal good amounts of damage there. We do still have a barrier, so Brig, after this turn, uh, should be able to S2. Right, I'm gonna S2 with Brig, for sure. 
He cleanses the speed down, which is fine. Robbie is just gonna S1. Okay, good counter. Can we just... No, no defense breaks. Not lucky enough. Alright, we will just S2 then. Boom, good barrier. And I turn cycles me so that hopefully... Hopefully we can... Um, kill the Robbie soon with the Brig. Very nice. Mature Sunglasses is helping quite a bit mitigating damage. He's really focusing Brig. He knows. He knows. Okay. Let's S3 here. This should kill the Tywin. Hoping it kills the Tywin at the very least. Beautiful, beautiful. Bastion of Hope on the Ilanov. He has an S3 with the Ravi. He is gonna S3. He misses on Brig, which is beautiful. Mort can't get stunned, so I'm not all too concerned. Beautiful stuff, good stuff. And Brig now gets to go straight for this uh, this Ravi here. So let's see if this ends up killing. She is on Victorious Flag, but we're entering Frenzy 4. Come on, Brig. You got this. You got this, buddy. Do it! Oh, so close, so close. Speed down is huge, though, because at this point, I'm hoping that Mort can actually uh, kill. Oh, nice counter. Not that it matters. Alright, let's go for the kill here, please! No kill! Unfortunate. Okay. Brig should be able to do it on the next turn, though. Brig should do it on this turn, so we'll just S3 here. There you go. Alright, beautiful stuff. Um, Ilanov might just try to focus the Brig at this point. He is. He's definitely going to be focusing the Brig. Can I try it? Oh, I don't think so. This doesn't ignore res. That's the issue right now with uh, Mort versus the Ilanov, is that we can't ignore the res of this guy. And if he turn cycles enough, he actually gets soul burns and he can detonate the injury. We might lose this one. Oh, you did good. You did good, Brig. You did good. I kind of trapped us here, but... You did good, buddy. Bastion of Hope means so much resistance. Oh, he's gonna soul burn this. That's gonna hurt. Oh, actually, didn't do that much. Thankfully. Um... Okay, we're just gonna S3 here. I really want to get a barrier up, but it relies on me to counter. There we go. S3 heals at the very least, so we're in the game. We're still in the game. Oh no, that's bad. Don't do this, don't do this. Mort, you gotta counter, buddy. You gotta counter. Soul burning won't do anything, but you gotta try. Mort! Oh no, Mort. It's over. It's over, Mort. No, Mort! After all this time. <laughs> we definitely trapped ourselves with this match. That is hilarious. Alright, we'll, we'll just keep on going though. That's okay. That was so close. Wow. Brig almost had it there, but he he made a quick decision in uh, focusing down the Brig, and that was very, very smart on his part. So unfortunately, we did lose that one, but it's okay. Let's keep on going. Um, now that kind of makes me want to build a speed Brig. If I build Brig on speed, I think he could be a pretty decent RTA unit, actually. Alright, what is that? Oh my god, that profile that profile picture there. Okay, let's go for this. Um, ban, ban. That's fine. That was a fun match, though, not gonna lie. I, I was throwing super hard by picking two counter units. Uh, two units on counter set, I should say. Um, I should have just picked something a bit... A bit faster, I guess. I could have picked Karina. I probably could have picked um, Summer Break Charlotte, actually. Would have oh, actually, Summer Break Charlotte would have been huge there. Alright, anyway, anyway, what are we doing? Uh, no Harseti, no Empyrean Ilanov. DDR picked up. DDR picked up. No Harseti, no Empyrean Ilanov. So we go... We go LRK. And uh, Laya, and hope that my opponent does not pick Selene. If they pick Selene, I'm gonna cry. Because I kind of want to pick Selene in a ban protection slot, but I also want another cleanser. Something like a Dilibet would be kind of cool too here. Oh, he's going Fire Politis. Oh, he's going Flinica. Whoa, hang on. No, 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 no. Okay. Um, the issue is, is that even if I pick something like... 
let's say, um, Infinite Horizon Achates, Politico can soul burn with Politis and would screw me over. I think either way I have to ban this Politis here. Politicus reset is going to be a huge pain. Huge pain. But I think we still I think we still do this. I think we go Infinite Horizon Achates, okay? And his team's rather squishy. I just need someone who can deal good damage overall. I think Ed could be decent here for sure. Let's go for Ed. All right, let's go for Ed. I think this is not bad. Because Flitica and DDR both have debuffs on their S1, so when they hit Ed, he's going to be able to do stuff in, uh, against them. I know the LRK has immunity, but we can turn Cycle out of immunity by using Akadi's a Shove and Ed's S3 to naturally turn Cycle him out of immunity fast. Yeah, this should be okay. This should be okay. Uh, we can also, for the last pick, go Sylvan Sage Vivian. I just don't want to pick Sylvan Sage too early, because then they can pick Solitaria, Rimuru, a 3F unit, a Rocket Punch unit. There's too many things that can potentially screw us over. Nice. He's going to go Wrecking Ro Rowana. That... Hmm. Do we care? Do we care about Requiem Rowana? Yes. Tomoka's gonna try to nuke down Infinite Horizon. I think we don't have to worry about the Wrecker Rowana. Um, Politis. Oh man. He will Solber and ignore Rez. He has two mages, so there's no reason to ban Politis anymore. I think we just ban Tomoka. And if we ban Tomoka, we just have to have something that can uh, deal with the rest of his team. So. I think Abyssal Euphine. I think Abyssal Euphine. He can reset Abyssal Euphine, but you know what? That's perfectly fine. The fact that we can just counterattack, though, with Elbrus is the reason why I'm bringing her. All right, good. They do actually ban her. That is fantastic. Uh, so that means Ed gets through draft. We get an HP imprint for everybody with the Laia. And we're off to the races. Let's see if Ed can do this. It looks like an Ed game, right? It very much does look like an Ed game. Now, we could get screwed over, though. If he resets, let's say, Infinite Horizon Achates, and then uses Wrecking Rowana to reset, let's say... Actually, he can't reset LRK or Laia really that easily. No, we're good. We're good. He has souls, but he can only reset one of my three cleansers. He is going to reset the Infinite Horizon Achates, that's fine, because her S2 is on a short cooldown, and uh, her S3 is on a relatively short cooldown. LRK and Laia can definitely use their skills, though, to decrease the cooldown. And help me out. Okay, purchase that one back, sure. Um, DDR can sleep, but again, we have Laia. So Laia being here is really good for us right now. He can push up the team. He's gonna push up the team, okay. Politis is gonna go. He's just gonna hit the... That's fine. Again, Sweet Miracle is gonna proc. We can just push up the entire team here. And we're going to turn Cycle. Boom. If Politis has Abyssal Crown or something, it's going to pop Ed. He doesn't. That's good. We can now S3 to break the skill nulls and get immunity. And with this immunity here, uh, we can actually... We can do a couple things. One, we can kill this Flitica. Right? We can kill the Flitica right away. That prevents the Rukum Rowana from turn cycling around if we can one-shot her. Ed should be able to, beautiful. And now, because we because we, yes, um, we did all that stuff here, we can actually use a Kades, push up the Ed, right? Try and turn Cyclone out of this last immunity. So a Kades got her S2 back because LRK and Laia both decreased the durations of my cooldowns by one turn each. And he's definitely gonna use this opportunity to try to hit Ed for as much as possible, but at this point, I think it's a little bit of a lost cause. Is that damage Politis? It is a damage Politis. Yeah, it's a bit of a lost cause here, so we're definitely going to be able to finish this guy off. Very, very nice. <laughs> and there you have it, guys. Laia and LRK showing once again that they are such a good combo. But with that being said, though, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.